up? I'm Rick, the Fat Man GM. You may or may have not have heard of me mambling and rambling on a few of the YouTube channels and Facebook channels regarding to our hobby, role-playing games in general, tabletop games, war gaming, secretary, so on and so forth. I have started back when I was in my early teens. I have well over 40 years worth of experience in this hobby that we love and share. And a big part of what I like to do is go back and revisit a lot of the stuff that I have and have accumulated in my gaming career, if you will. And everything from uh, Merp, you know, Starfleet from FASA, a slew of Dungeons and Dragons, and Chattel Run, Star Wars, etc., etc., etc. And I revisit these items individually and hopefully to give some nostalgia for myself to give you a little bit of a insight into some game system that you may or may not have heard of or may have not had the opportunity to play and to remind those of us out there that that do have them that these are quite viable and still entertaining today so here we go all right my friends you know this is FASA Star Trek's Starfleet role-playing game from the 80s, early 90s. There are several versions or variants out today. They're produced by other companies. But this is FASA, right? Oh, Starfleet Intelligence Manual, the Agent's Orientational Orientation Source Book, right? Okay, so you know, you know, if you've ever played Star Trek in in the this in FASA and perhaps in some of these newer ones though I kind of imagine that the that they've learned some lessons the creators of the newer stuff I have not had the opportunity to uh, purview any of the the latest version from whatever company's producing it I'm not a, a saying it's a bad thing it's just what it is Ooh, excuse me I don't care how much sleep I get anyway in the early stage you had a couple kind of I don't know you either were junior officers of a Starfleet ship, generally speaking, or you were members of Starfleet Intelligence, and you were kind of shoehorned a little bit in that aspect. And then uh, as the game progressed and as more material came out, they came out with material for Klingons, so you could you could roleplay Klingons. And they came out with a little bit less information for the Romulans, because there's so little known about them that, that even in uh, the game material, they kind of had to stretch right kind of had to stretch to get the what they wanted to give it some viable but you could you could play starfleet officers junior officers or starfleet intelligence or you could come up with something of your own or you could play klingons right uh, you could play orions because we have the ryan material you could somewhat play romulans uh Oddly enough, there was no source book ever created directly for role-playing uh, the Vulcans or the Andorians or the Terralites, e even though they were core foundation members of the Federation. I mean, you can, and there's some skill set mechanics and things like that in the Federation core book, but not not a whole lot of information to go on. And then, of course, uh, later they came out with uh, Merchant Princes and uh, uh, Merchant Captains and something merchant prince print, merchant princess I, I did a video a video on it already and this allowed you to play from the in the federation or outside the federation from a non starfleet position so you didn't have to be a member of the federation uh, or uh, starfleet to participate so in this case uh, we're making this is the core book that you would use to establish and operate and play as Starfleet intelligence operatives. There are uh, several companion pieces to this. There's another book that's more for the GM, uh, the, the mechanics of how to set up the stats and what have you. This here would be the player goal, the player handbook in a way, or the the uh, the story handbook. In some aspects that might be appropriate. Uh, it talks about the goals, the scopes of the manual, the origins of Starfleet intelligence, 
Say the lack of cooperation between nations and between their intelligence services caused severe problems during the eugenics wars. Communication breakdowns and limited information possessed by each agency led to numerous inconclusive or earnest intelligence evaluations. And post war studies show that if all the intelligence agencies had pooled their resources and information, the war could have been shortened by several months. More importantly, Khan Noonan Singh's escape probably could have been prevented. Uh, the creation of Starfleet Intelligence Command, how it operates. Starfleet Intelligence during the Romulan War, period between wars, four year war, recent develops. I, I kind of find it a, a bit humorous that they reused a, most of the, the pictures inside this book are from other game supplements. Just saying. Uh, the timeline for intelligence operations, famous intelligent mi missions. Operation Golden Pheasant, start 81 slash 0811. Romulan sector intelligence moved a prototype battle cruiser from there the Romulan border to a naval shipyard at Andor. The operation was a complete success. Population. Operation Purloin, start 82 slash 0910. Romulan sector intelligence research uh, section recruited Captain Kirk of the USS Enterprise to capture a Romulan cloaking device. He succeeded in start 82 slash 01002, but the device failed to uh, in a particularly nasty manner. Uh, the organization for Starfleet Intelligence Command and then goes and breaks down those various departments. Office of Auditor General, Office of Financial Management, Legislative Affairs, Public Affairs, Plans and Policy Division, Office of Starfleet Intelligence Reserve, Operating Forces Subdivisions, our sectors, a sector map. Field Operations Department, overt. The overt operation is divided into three sections. Every intelligence station within the sector will have at least two to three persons working in each of these sections. Public Information Affairs, Counterintelligence Section, and Unclassified Information Acquisition Section. Covert Operations, Special Equipment, Informant Liaison Section, front or the Front Organization Section, or Shallow, color, shallow, shallow Cover Section. And uh, the deep cover operations section, technical support division, command structure and operation, creating character player characters, training the player characters, background. This picture always reminds me of. I look at this picture and I know it's not Captain Kirk, but it reminds me of fa of a fat William Shatner, right? Just saying. New services branch, intelligence branch, various skill sets that you can you can take. Administrative Branch School, Analyst Branch School, Technical Services Branch, Field Operations Branch, which includes administration, carousing, candlestick operations, communication systems, computer operations, computer technology, disguise, electronics technology, gaming, instruction, intelligence procedures, languages, five total and used in any way, leadership, marksmanship, modern, the negotiation, diplomacy, planetary survival, Security procedures, shuttlecraft or small vessel, piloting, small unit tactics, stealth, streetwise surveillance, trade and commerce, value estimation, vehicle operation. Your cadet crews, intelligence command school, post academy experience. modifiers and extra bonuses seeing where your character may have already done some of its service tours and things like this it helps lo locate them randomly tour length skill advancement transferees combat statistics and character age non-academy personnel 
This is not everyone who works in Starfleet Intelligence Command belongs to Starfleet Command. A number of private citizens were also provide information and the occasional assistance to Intelligence Command field agents. These may include law, local law enforcement officials, businessmen, merchants, and petty criminals, etc., etc. New skills, assassination, bribery, candlestick operations, cryptology, demolitions, disguise, skill specialties, character sheet, UP, UFP, Starfleet Intelligent Character Dossier, Character Dossier, Operating Procedures, Security Classifications, Intelligence Logs, Data Reliability Rating Table, Normal Complement, Rank and Position, Uniforms, Decorations, Insignia, Chain of Command, Rebission preparations, mission classifications, liquidation mission. Who's to say that Federation isn't isn't beyond stooping to plugging somebody? It says liquidation missions deal with reducing or eliminating something or someone's overall effectiveness. The target could be a company, a factory, small business, underground communication systems, military target, or anyone or anything that needs to be taken out of action without blood, bloodshed. Yeah, okay. Termination mission. The objective is to eliminate a specific individual or small group permanently. Pretty straightforward. Common procedures, filing reports, regulations. Starship security procedures, task group casualties, security clearances, breaking cover, surrendering, making contacts, taking prisoners, securing transmissions, <laughs> common code and phrases and code words, post mission debriefings, access to equipment. So we got a section on the equipment guide, additional equipment guide. Most of the stuff's pretty common though. It's found in uh, the core book and or other source books. There's a few items that are unique to the zoo to uh, intelligence, which you'd think, you'd think there'd be a more, I don't know, James Bondish kind of approach to this sort of stuff, but apparently not. Some of this stuff's so basic it, it really it should be in the, the core book, but it's not. So, it's a good addition just for that reason, if nothing else. Something you don't see in the movies too often. Vehicles, transportation, land transportation. So it's just assumed that we'll teleport everywhere. Well, that, that works great on, like, Earth, on a very core planet, but not so much when most of the Federation is not that heavily developed. This is going to be vehicle transportation, and then there's always a time when, you, when that stuff's useful. It doesn't always have to come by shuttlecraft or something. The later movies, uh, the recent movies, have done a little better job of including things like uh, planetary vehicles, but they're still few and far in between. Melee weapons, weapons from our allies and from our enemies, shipboard security systems, Klingon Empire, Federation. Glossary of terms. There you got it. Intelligence character generation short form. Intelligence character dossier. Number of blanks, pretty much. I never. I learned the lessons early on not to take those things out of the book. I just get a Xerox copy of them back in the day. Now you just get them downloaded off the internet, right? So there you have it. Starfleet intelligence manual. Agent's Orientation Sourcebook.